Throughout the last few months, musicians have been on one or two sides of the Mick Mars being removed or retiring from his former band, Motley Crue. Some rockers take the side of Motley Crue and support their new endeavors with guitarist John Five. However, most do not, and end up siding with Mick Mars saying Motley Crue made a big mistake by removing him from the band. Well, Rat's Stephen Piercy has recently come out showing his support for Mick Mars and his resentment for Motley Crue and what they did to him. Stick around to learn more. For those who don't know already, Mick Mars, Motley Crue's founding guitarist, retiring from touring with the band in 2023 due to his medical condition. While stating he would still like to be a member of the band and record new songs, this retirement proved to bring Mars' 40-year run with Motley Crue to an end, and the crew replaced Mars with guitarist John Five. Rats, Stephen Piercy had a chance to give his two cents on the situation when he was a guest on the Hook Rocks podcast recently, where he was asked about how he felt of the new 2024 Motley Crue lineup, their first ever lineup with the guitarist not named Mick Mars. Piercy responded, quote, Motley bringing in John Five, no disrespect, that's not Motley Crue. And also continuing to explain that Motley Crue without Mick Mars, quote, lacks the proper elements. While many rock fans everywhere would agree with this statement made by Rat's Stephen Piercy, the singer and founder of Rat continued to provide evidence of his own band to support his claims. Piercy linked this Motley Crue situation with a similar situation in his band, Rat, in the year 1991, when guitarist Robin Crosby left the band. Piercy explained, quote, Rat without Robin? I said he wasn't playing. This isn't going to work. We can do anything we want. We can try as hard as we want. It's not going to be the same. And it never was, and it never will be. While explaining how the guitarist change never worked for his band, Rat, Piercy is explaining here that he believes it will never work for Motley Crue, bringing in John Five to replace McMars and expecting the same result. This brings up the question with Motley Crue announcing they will be releasing a new album this year with John Five playing the guitar. How successful will it really be? Rock bands have replaced important band members in the past and still found success. Take Van Halen, for example, replacing David Lee Roth with Sammy Hager. The band made a huge move like that and still was successful. However, Rat singer and founder Stephen Piercy clearly has different thoughts, explaining his own band couldn't replace a key member and carry on the same as they had been, and he has made it very clear he believes Motley Crue cannot either. What are your thoughts? Will Motley Crue's album this year be a failure or a success? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.